My name is Mark Blanket, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to place an audio insight in design to be published to the iPad using the digital publishing suite. All right, so I'm going to place the audio, which is the .mp3 file inside in design by going to file place. All right, and this is the audio Star Wars main theme. All right, open. This is anywhere on the page. You can see that the box here has the audio icon. Now move it anywhere you want. This will be the trigger to activate the audio itself, right? Or you, as you put it, the trigger box. Okay, now there is no button image or anything for us to use. So when I have this selected and I look at the overlay creator on the right, you'll see that there is actually something called the controller files. This is where you start to load in your play and pause buttons to use together with your MP3 file. Okay, I'm going to load in the, the files or the assets as they call that, audio assets. Alright, so it's in here, audio folder, click on it, click open, and here it shows that I will show my first image initially. So how it detects is based on underscore play and underscore pause when you create the audio assets. I'll just show you a quick one of what I mean by audio assets. Okay, I'm going to move the screen aside, I'm going to place the two assets that I created just for you to have an understanding of what I mean by assets. Inside the audio folder, you'll see that you have the underscore pause and underscore play. Now, whatever is in front, audio, it's up to you. But whatever is behind, it's important and it has to be a .png for both of the files. Okay, and you can place them inside a, a folder, any name you like. I'll just place it in audio because it's easier to understand. Right? So once you have it selected, you can see that you have a show first image initially, you have the button ready. If you want it to auto play when the page loads, you can activate this for it to work. All right? And this is just how audio works inside the InDesign we play on the iPad. I'm going to show you a quick preview of what, I, what I've done over here. You can go to File, Folio Preview to see how it works. Alright, I already have it activated, so I'm going to show you on my screen. Alright, so the page is the same as what you have seen earlier. So this is the play button. When I click on it, the music will play and the pause button will appear for you to, if you want to pause the music. Alright, as you can see, the pause button is here. When I pause, pause it, pause. I play, it continues on again. Right? It's just as simple to place audio into a design for the iPad with the assets or the controller files. Alright, so this is all for audio. See you for the next tutorial. Thank you.